Alright, hey guys, um, I'm Luke, I'm here with Slay Airsoft today, and I got a review for you. Now, it is a shotgun. Now, this is the Firepower MS Tactical Shotgun. Um, the reason it's called Tactical Version is because of the stock, it has four positions and a source. Now, moving on to, uh, yeah, the price. The price is ranged from 80 to 65 euros. And, Alright, of course, we don't know what it's range in other countries, but I've seen uh, one go for $88 on some American website. Um, now, moving on to, what was it? The content you get in the box is the shotgun itself, a bag of about 500 BBs, a, and two shells. Uh, that's about it that comes in the box. Um, yeah, so the material it's made from. It's made from mostly polymer, except for the two barrels up the top here, and maybe some internals inside. Um, the uh, pump, the pistol grip, and uh, the cheek rest are rubberized uh, to make it more comfortable. Now, as I found after a while of pumping this, it sort of um, made my hands sore, so I would recommend wearing some t sort of gloves, just to prevent, was it, um, uh, rash in your hands or something like that because it is quite hard to pump it and um, saying that now um now the yes the iron sights are plastic as well and um, yeah uh was it the fps right it shoots it says on the side of the gun 0 0.7 joule it had a little sticker and that was about it um, I don't know what that is in FPS, but you can work that out for yourself, a 0 0.7. Um, but like saying that it is a Springer, you're not going to get the full 1.0 Joule or 1.0 whatever. Um, uh, the maximize you can get for this, you're not going to get that maximization unless you put a new spring. Uh, but it is going to be hard to pump, it's hard to pump as it is. Um, Saying that, like you're just gonna get used to pumping it uh, after a while, and uh, I think you'll build up kind of it if you know what I mean, if, or whatever technique you have. Like I can't uh, pump it while it's on my shoulder. I have to go like that, and then pump it. Um, that's the way I do it. Um, for sling, you're gonna have a sling mount here and a sling mount on the stock. One circle at the bottom and a slit. Um. At the back there. Also, this part here is rubberized, just to give it a bit more comfort. I think I have everything down except for the problems. Now, one of the problems I, one of the biggest problems I had was it was with the stock. Now, after a while of going boom, 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 etc., playing with it, and um, what happened was is when you pump it and it's leaving force on the pistol grip and surprising the buffer tube. Now the reason because it's the buffer tube because there is a Allen key screw at the bottom of the buffer tube. Now I've never heard of an Allen key that is that long. I've never heard of an Allen key that long until I looked it up on YouTube. Um, most people that are having problems with this uh, just because it's got loose uh, reason being because you're pumping the shotgun and it's really hard to do so, which prevent, um, ended up loosening the pistol grip and the buffer tube. Now what happens was, um, the way it works is there's a little hole and there's an allen key. And the only thing is holding uh, this and this is one screw. And oh, what I think it should have, what they should have done is put a um, Phillips screw and uh, four screws in the pistol grip and then put the buffer tube on and then put a Phillips screw just to hold the buffer tube on um, so you can run you can take the buffer tube off and just have um, a regular uh, like no stock shotgun but saying that I'd ra I prefer it with the stock uh, you know it just looks cooler overall and it doesn't look as nice with the stock off uh, but like what can you do when you haven't got an allen key that long um, you can order ones it's like you need one that's 135 millimeters long which is 13.5 centimeters um, 
and uh, I'd recommend 150 uh, or 15 centimeters. Like saying that, it's just easier to tighten it. I have uh, had to go and buy my own Allen key just to tighten it, just so I can use it. Um, that's one of the problems they have to fix. They have to get a Phillips screw. So most people have Phillips screwdrivers, um, but they haven't got a fucking Allen key as long as a fucking foot, you know. Um, I think I forgot one thing. Uh, the release for the um, shotgun shell is there. That's the only thing I forgot about that. Uh, another problem. Um, there's scratches on the buffer tube because it's moving back and forth. That's the only problem with that. And uh, there's little scratches on the side here and the bottom uh, because I'm pumping. Uh, that's about it for that. Um, I was up to the side this already. When you look down the iron sights, that moves to the side so you can look down them properly. You also got windage and elevation on your iron sights. I wouldn't recommend using them. You also got a rail. Uh, I don't know who's going to put a red dot, but maybe you could put like a flashlight on there. Um, if you wanted to, but I wouldn't do it because I just wouldn't. It would ruin the look of the shotgun. So we're going to go to a little shooting test, you know, just a little one. It's not going to take long, so see you there.